Hello, Jennifer here, and today I am going to talk a little bit about the extruder. This tool can create a vast array of different elements that you can use in soap making. So you use the extruder with soap dough. Um, the way it works is you have three pieces. This is your tube. This is the crank that's going to push the the soap through and this is your cap. Then you have discs that you can use to create whatever shape you want. So I have tons of custom discs. One of my favorite suppliers of these discs is I Dream in Soap, also A and B Soap Company. These are they come in a variety of different shapes. So you can see I have a heart. That's what I'm actually going to use. Um, this is one that I used for one of my summer soaps, the dolphin. The actual extruder comes with, I think it's 12 shapes. Um, these are some of them that you see that they will come with. I use this a lot when I need strings, like to create sprinkles. Um, the circle helps with things. The teardrop is one of my favorite. I use that for a variety of things. You can use it for things like rain. You can use it to make seeds, whether it's watermelon seeds, cucumber seeds. Um, it's pretty versatile. So I just keep my standard ones in here. And then I have another space where I keep my custom ones. But today we're going to work with the heart one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my end cap I'm simply going to place the heart inside and then I'm going to screw it to the extruder. So this is not going to go on all the way because it's much thicker as you could see the, the disc. So I'll put it on as far as I can and I just have to be a little careful when I'm extruding it. But you can see that when it comes out I'm going to get the heart shape. This piece is going to go on after I put the soap in. So, I've taken my soap dough, and you can see I've already actually prepped a whole bunch of it. But basically I cut it up, I condition it, basically work it so I can get it, you know, soft and malleable. And then I basically work it into these tube shapes. And I'll just roll them to get them somewhat even. And then I push it into the tube. So pretty simple. gonna fill that push it down then I'm gonna take the the crank piece so this you can move up or you can move down I need it all the way down because I've filled my tube I am basically going to push that down and then screw it on so it's as simple as that then what I do, so I already have some soap pushing through, is so I put my hand over this and I crank it to get the soap pushed down. Once I feel it pushing against my thumb, I know it's all squished down and then I will hold on to the cap, especially when I'm using the custom piece because it's a little thick and sometimes the cap can pop off. And you just, again, crank it and as you crank it you will see the heart is going to come out and I obviously have a piece there that wasn't all meshed together very well so you can see it's breaking so this is another reason why you really want your soap to be a one big solid tube but yeah I'm just going to keep churning turning 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 <laughs> until I get to the end and I have a piece of or a length of heart and I will just repeat that process until I get the number of lengths that I need for the design that I am going to be so you can see I've gone all the way to the end I'll remove that and this is the length of heart so obviously this part is not going to do me much good because it's broken so I'm simply going to trim it off <laughs> and I will work 
re just squish it up and mold it into the next tube. So you can see there is my heart, obviously. Trim that off. But yeah, I have a heart. So this is not nearly enough um, for what I need. So I will unscrew this a little bit so that I can unscrew the top piece, pull it back out, roll it all the way back down, and then basically let's prep another piece. So I'm trying to squish these together a little bit more since obviously I didn't do a good job the first time. I'm just going to roll it out and now stick it in my tube. Push it down. Turn it so that it's locked in place, and then I will repeat that process over again. Okay, so it's starting to come out, and so now I'm just going to crank it until I get all the soap out. And again, I didn't do a very good job of meshing all my my soap together. There are some breaks here and there, so I will trim those out or smooth them over depending on how bad they are. But yeah, so almost to the end. Okay. I'm just gonna, again, straighten it out some so you can see here there's a split. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to trim it off and I'll work it back into the soap. I don't want any gaps or holes in my heart. So I'll probably trim off that piece too because that wasn't perfect. Okay. So you can see That I can smooth over a little bit. But yeah, there you go. Now I have a heart. You can swap out the shape and create any shape you want. Use them for any type design. But it's pretty simple to use. And like I said, it will create, a whole, open up a whole realm of new design opportunities for you. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, I really appreciate any likes, subscribes, comments. I'd love to hear what you guys thinks, think. And um, up until the next video. Thank you.